Australia's top chefs and food critics are fighting back against a tidal wave of greedy social media users. Ooh. Who would have thought social media users were greedy? <laughs> uh, who've been demanding freebies in exchange for favourable reviews and Instagram posts. Uh, they say so-called influencers are undermining real restaurant reviews and costing chefs thousands. Sunrise reporter David Woywood has been looking into this growing trend. If you're one of Instagram's billion users, then you've seen these posts. Self-described influencers using their fan base to review and rate, among other things, bars, cafes and restaurants. Shameless in their self-promotion, these human billboards have long tried to leverage their followers for freebies at some of our top restaurants. Personally, I think it's a bit weird. Simon Gloftus is head chef behind award-winning Brisbane-based restaurant Hellenica. Aside from running a business, every day he's inundated by requests from social media moochers, promising to dish up a favourable review in exchange for a fully paid night out. Well, it's sort of like maybe three, four, five a day, and then we've had up to 15 in one day, actually. In fact, the insta-begging, as it's now been termed, has become so prolific, it's spawned its own hashtag, couscous for comment. There are a lot of very entitled people out there who feel it is perfectly within their remit to simply ask for something for free. Backed by industry heavyweights, food critic John Lethleen has been loudly calling this behaviour out, publicly shaming users who beg for food and drink in exchange for Instagram posts. The restaurant industry itself is absolutely sick to death of people passing around the bedding, begging bowl looking for freebies. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. So, to test just how troublesome this trend has become, I decided to start my own restaurant. Introducing One Chair Melbourne. Hello, welcome to Melbourne's newest pop-up restaurant, One Chair Melbourne. Would you like to see our specials? Inspired by the fact, well, it literally has one chair. Trade was slow. Morning, sir. Welcome to One Chair Melbourne, city's newest pop-up. Welcome to One Chair Melbourne, the city's newest and hottest pop-up. But that's because our restaurant only exists online. Its Instagram account, We Created, boasts an international menu and an award-winning chef. A snazzy logo and a handful of Instagram posts was all it took to get the likes mounting and the requests for free food flooding in. My usual collaboration includes a minimum of three Instagram stories, one dedicated post and a positive review, said one blogger. Another offered an Instagram post and a review for 120 bucks. Others were cheaper. Food, drink and $50 would get us a review, while countless others offered our restaurant the opportunity to collaborate. Translation, freebies for photos. It doesn't work. The, the margins in restaurants are so low that if we start giving away food, it's sort of like going to a tradesman and taking their hammer and their nails. Aside from the free grub, the paid reviews are often not declared as such and that concerns real critics like John. They're also promising favourable reviews. What does that do uh, to something that you do for a profession? Well, it completely degrades what I do for a living. I'm sick of people grasping and, and, and passing around the begging bowl looking for free meals and uh, basically eroding uh, the value of true reviewing. But in an Insta-obsessed world, this trend shows no sign of slowing, and that's bad news for those trying to run a business. Thank you. Waiting for a bit of business. You hungry? <laughs> Isn't that... Oh, I love that. Isn't well done, that fascinating, though? Oh, yeah. You know what they, these restaurants should be doing? Dobbing them in to the ACCC. The ACCC is investigating this sort of stuff for people who post on social media and don't say they're being paid for it mm. and declare it. Mm. So, yeah, dob them in. The ACCC mm. would love to Do hear it. about them.